I've taken my copper spray gasket, high temperature sealant. The one thing I like about this is that it's uh, got copper flakes in it. As you can see right here, I've taken a little swabs right there and I put, you can see where I put it in the, the cap right here and I've dabbed it around the area. I've also dabbed it around the area of the, the um, alternator cap that goes on here. And then what I do is I've gotten one side of the, the new seal so I'll turn it over and it's, like I said it's really really sticky look at that look at that which is great you know it's really great for these kind of seals then you want to shake it up and put a little bit more on there All right. remember I started with the with this upside down so now it's right side up and now what I have to do is put it it form it form fits to the inside of here, and I have to um, pick it up with two two hands, and then I've got uh, the sticky crap all over my hands. So I'll have to put it in correctly. Now, also there is two dowels pins, one that goes right here, and one that goes up here. And of course, this is the oil gear, and I I took all this out so that I could correctly put on a lot of um, so we get the damn thing in there no, that's not right that's not right mm -hmm. well I'm gonna have to play with that and get it in there just perfectly somehow but I'll put that in there and then I'll take the I'll take the um, the o-ring with both hands and I'll very carefully put it around here I put in a new seal and the new seal fits flush it's got a little bit of oil on it I think you can see it right there so we have new seal there we have a new seal right here and you want to put a little bit of oil on your crankshaft a little bit of oil on the the, uh, the gear right here before you put it together and make sure that you hold your chain tight that it doesn't come off because after we put the cover on, then I'll put the stator on and the flywheel. And then we'll use the flywheel marks. These are the flywheel marks. It's a T and an F. Okay. We're going to use that T mark to line up the crankshaft with the camshaft and then put the camshaft together. So that's what we're doing right now.